Go for it, guys. Christian, what was this game like for you, kind of back and forth, the fans in the stands for the first time? And um, obviously, you know, you hit some big shots. It looked like you maybe were a little bit more aggressive today. Oh, uh, yeah, I was so excited, you know, see fans in the, um, in the crowd. Um, as you guys know, I like to play off their energy, um, you know, just feed off of them. So it was great to see, you know, just a couple fans um, in the stands. And, and, you know, their energy was great all game. Um, but like you said, I was just more aggressive today. Um, you know, coach was telling me I need to get – um, get my shot off when I'm open, uh, so that's all I was doing. But it was great to see fans in the stand, uh, in the stands for sure. CB, you get the you get the close out, challenge the shot, you get the board, and then you miss the front end. How how hard was that going through your mind when when Marcus is there at the line trying to tie it late in the game? Were you even thinking that? Um, you know, I got to knock those down. You know, I was in a similar situation the game before, um, and it was a different outcome. But uh, you know, it was a big game. I missed the free throw, um, but the good thing was we were up three. Um, so, you know, I know we had another chance to get a stop, you know, and then, and then we had a foul, you know, everybody, everybody was making a couple of mistakes, um, but, you know, we're young and it's early. So, you know, we're going to make those mistakes, but I got to knock that down. Hey, it seemed like in the second half, it was really a, a struggle to score at times. What, what made it tough for you guys just to find points there for some stretches? Um, I think, you know, they're, they're a good team. Um, and, you know, we got a lot of different lineups in there and they were, they were collapsing hard on Dave and then, you know, it took Dave a while. Um, to figure out, you know, a couple dribbles and then kick it out. And once he figured it out, Dave made a lot of great plays. He threw a couple to me, um, got me wide open shots. He threw a great pass to Jalen. Jalen knocked it down. Um, so, like I said, it was just, uh, you know, us having to make adjustments. And, you know, sometimes that takes a second. Um, but we had, we had guys step and make big plays. Bryce came in, hit a couple uh, dribble pull-ups that were, that were really big. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it was just making adjustments. Hey, it, it seemed like a, for a while Jalen was the only guy who could score. Did you guys notice him kind of carrying you late in the first half and early in the second half? Yeah, Jalen's Jalen's been doing a great job, um, you know, all year of doing that. You know, just stepping up. Um, he's aggressive all throughout the game, so you know he's gonna, um, you know, he's gonna get in there and score. Um, and he's, you know, even the last couple of games, especially, he's been making really big, timely shots. Um, and we need guys like that. You know, it wasn't Oach's day, um, and those are shots that Oach normally makes when he's in there too. Um, um, but yeah, Jalen was making great plays, and Jalen's been doing that, um, you know, the last couple of games, and and that's what he does. You know, that's that's just who Jalen is. CB, how exciting is it to think about maybe having some practice time to, to fine tune what you guys do when you go small? I mean, coach said you hardly worked on it at all before the season and, and you've just kind of been doing it on the fly right now. What, what's the ceiling when you guys can actually work on that a little bit more in practice? Uh, yeah, I think our ceiling is really high. You know, we just had, what was it, six games or something like that yeah. um, in, a, in a pretty pretty close stretch. So, um, you know, the, that stretch was was long and, and, you know, we got through it on uh, only one loss, so that's, that's not too bad. Um, but I think we learned a lot, like you said. So we got we got a lot to work on in practice. Um, but, you know, we're excited. That was a big win. Um, you know, and, and like you said, we're going we're gonna to take our little time off. We're going to focus on that first, and then we'll get to practice. How hard has it been to, to figure that out on the fly, going to five guards and just – I mean, I know you've been going over it, walkthroughs and stuff like that, but but has that been difficult or has it been pretty natural? Um. We got, you know, we got some older guys like Mark, you know, Marcus holds down our defense, so he makes it pretty easy. You know, he covers up for a lot of people's mistakes. Um, but it's tough, you know, when you're trying to work on playing, you know, new guys with Dave in the lineup, and then you're also trying to work on guarding with five guards. And so, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different things we're doing. Um, so, yeah, it is tough to learn, but uh, I, think, I think it's tough for a lot of teams to figure this out because we can throw a lot of different, different lineups and, uh, you know, different looks at them. Sure. One more for Christian. It looks like Bryce is pretty confident in his mid-range game. Would you say that's the best part of his game, or are there other facets to his game that maybe we haven't seen yet that could be better? I think I think the biggest thing, um, you know, the most impressive thing about Bryce to me is what, what people don't see. Um, you know, I, I know guys have said, I know Jalen just said it, uh, Bryce works extremely hard, like, at everything. It doesn't matter. He He's 100% effort all the time, you know, getting shots up, stuff like that. So, you know, he's confident um, when, he's, when he's in there. Um, and like you said, his mid-range game coming in was was great. Um, but yeah, he's confident in all and in, in everything he does just because of how hard he works. Thanks, Christian. Thanks, Christian. Yep.